my sophomore year of college. She was a freshman, and um, through mutual friends. And all I could think is, why is this girl dressing like my 12-year-old cousin? And I, I just I couldn't get past that fact for a while until I got to know her. I was kind of hoping it was a phase she'd grow yeah. up. Are you scared to grow up? Yeah. I don't want to grow up. And I'm really scared if I get the 9 to 5 job or so, I just, I'll have to grow up and become an adult with a mortgage and an old fuddy-duddy. And <laughs> no one wants to get old. Like, no one wants to do it. And I'm just one of those people who refuse to do it. No, well, getting old is different than, like, you know, shopping in the kids section. Being afraid to get old. I guess I just don't know how to do it then. Like, Well, we're going to help you. Well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrity stylist and our friend here at the Tyra Show, Robert Verdi. <laughs> Bell -bell -bell -bell. Hi, so, hi. <laughs> so what advice can you give these two ladies and the people at home watching that need the, the same help to look older? Michelle looks like she went to Raven Simone's garage sale when she was on Cosby. <laughs> that is so true. And Amanda looks like she went to, uh, I hate to say it, Hannah Montana's garage sale. Hannah Montana's garage sale, totally. So, they, they both share an interesting quality here. They both like pink. Pink is a very girly color. It's a very little girl color. Michelle, if you want to look a little more mature, you have to wear more mature colors. Jewel tones. But she doesn't want to look more mature. Uh, she does not want to look no, more mature. No, she wants to look young, but her, her son is embarrassed. Yeah. Well, let's go with what your son's thinking. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I think length is important, too. It's an another thing to take into consideration. You always want to kind of work with the knee as the base point mm -hmm. and then go a little shorter, a little longer. You know, a little longer sometimes can look like a nun. A little shorter can look like a slut. you got to kind of play it one way or the other. Um, and Amanda? Amanda, I think what you, you... You like pattern. You like color. I think that what you might think about, the tip is wear pattern that isn't necessarily childish. You know, stripes or beautiful floral patterns. But something graphic maybe, but not something that looks like you a just got baby. it. At the, yeah, For instance, I love Hello Kitty. Love her to death. And I would love to decorate my whole entire apartment here in like <laughs> pink Hello Kitty everything. But I'm like, eh. So I have a pink Hello Kitty little sticker at my mirror in my entranceway, and my alarm clock is Hello Kitty. That's it. So it makes me go, I don't want to grow up, but I'm still an adult. <laughs> Small doses. Small doses. Yeah. So you All guys right. go on backstage. Because y'all are going to get beautified. Yeah. Uh, looking way too old for their age or way too young for their age. So now it's time for the ultimate age-defying makeover reveals. Our glam squad has been hard at work backstage, sweating and working so hard. And our loved ones are so excited, are we not? Yeah. First up is Tammy, our late 30s lady who dressed like a teenager. And you guys said that she looked a lot older than she is because she was dressing, you know the older woman when she dresses a little hoochie, she looks real older? But she's only 39? Okay, come on out, Tammy, look at 39. Come on out. Fantastic. You do? I cannot believe that wearing the clothes I wore. Yes. I feel so much better. You do for real? Yes. You look you still look sexy. You still I, have some chest out and you're showing some legs. <laughs> and I Tyra, I, I feel sexy. I feel sexy. I don't have to wear teenage clothes to look good. Good. And your son Eric is here. How do you feel about this new look? Well, uh, wow, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm speechless, really, to tell yeah. you the truth. Um, oh. You look great. You look great. Mm. Wow. Thank yeah. you. It's great. Are you speechless? Yeah, I'm speechless. Yeah, you got your mama back. Yeah, no. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 
What did you do to her hair? So lovely. Still well, sexy. One of the biggest tips that her hair was actually too curly and too intense, and it made, it, it made her look younger or older. It was all over the place. <laughs> yes, it was. So by cleaning it up and straightening it and giving it a softer appearance, it's much more beautiful on her. Okay, our next age-defying makeover is for Mary. She's the woman everybody in the audience thought was 60 years old, almost 10 years older than her real age. Let's check out Mary before. And Mary, quite contrary, come on out, looking your age. I just feel so honored to be you, here. You do? And I feel like, like a queen. I feel 15 years younger. <laughs> you Thank look fantastic. You, so much. you look fantastic. And your husband, Joel, what do you have to say about your oh, wife? I'm so happy for Mary. She, yeah. You know, she, uh, she liked her casual clothes, but I knew she had the potential. She really makes the clothes. You know, she's beautiful. And that's why I married her. Oh, so give him a kiss. Oh, give him a kiss. I love you. <laughs> Come back. So, Joel, let's talk about the color because I see low lights, high lights. I see yeah, like a nice Yeah, it was a, a perfect nice example of neglect. She's been neglecting her hair. Mm -hmm. So what Astra did was put some low lights in, some highlights. We gave her a base color. But the most important thing is strengthening your hair. It's not only about conditioning. You need to strengthen it. Mm -hmm. It'll close the cuticle of your hair, make your hair shiny and healthier. And you can see her hair looks youthful. All right, we're going to move on to our next reveal. Jackie was our 22-year-old tomboy who everybody thought looked 12. <laughs> There she is before. And are you ready to see your friend? Okay, come on out here, Jackie. How do you feel? Um, I feel really good. I feel my age now. I feel 22. So thank you. I didn't so know your much. eyes were so beautiful. You have these big, beautiful doe eyes. Thank you. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Okay, Quinne. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic. She's fantastic. Not she was 12, dressing anymore. way, way, way too young. You're at an age where you can really sex it up a little, and it's not vulgar. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the skinny jean fashion forward pieces are really good for girls your age because you can risk it on fashion. The little ankle booty, very hot at the moment right now. You can do it. Embrace fashion right now. Yeah, in your 20s, you can, in do, your 20s, you can have you can fun. Do it. And then when you get to my age, you know, 30s, you got to pull back. <laughs> 40s, pull back a little more. 50s, pull back a little more. And then 60s, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to the rescue of women who need age-defying makeovers. Remember Nicole? She was slapping on all that makeup thinking it made her look young, but the audience thought she looked 10 years older than she was. And I said that she looked like Liza Minnelli. Okay, so... Let's see Nicole now. Come on out. Like a cute little pixie. 
sexy. Oh my gosh, you look so cute and sexy and fresh. They look great. Okay, so how how do you feel? Do you feel, I feel naked? I know I don't feel naked Good. at all. I, I, well, I don't feel naked, but <laughs> naked I don't feel naked, naked without in the face. less makeup. But uh, I feel younger and softer and prettier. I really like it. And it'll take like ten minutes as opposed to.